from a standing position stand upright hands by the side heels together here's a slow motion rendition hands slide down your thighs as you bend forward this is sometimes referred to as tachi ray means standing bowing now bowing from a sitting position first down on the left knee the right knee sit back on your feet hands on the thighs then put your hands pointed inward and you bow this is a close-up shot of that hands on the thighs hands turned in bow sit straight rise up on your toes then right leg and left leg then step forward kumikata for holding kazushi for unbalancing the players bow to each other from a standing take a step forward grip each other they're now in a right natural position right hand on the lapel left hand on the sleeve now they'll demonstrate kazushi this is the way you break an opponent's balance prior to executing a throw there are about eight different directions in this film we only use three next we have warm-up exercises stretching back and forth stretch back and then down deep between the legs now sideways from one side to the other now around in a circle go one way let your body hang stretch and then the other way leg stretches bending deep and stretching the leg these are squats on your toes back straight up and down this is rotating the neck to stretch the neck muscles sitting up and going back and stretching forward and all the way back this is very good for mat training to escape with your legs over your head and here he is stretching from one leg to the other now twisting backwards rotating the trunk now forward you think you can get your head down there Kobayashi was extremely flexible Ukemi falling drills this is a backward falling drill usually we start the student from a sitting position in this case we're showing it from a squatting position then you go to a standing position the arm slap about 30 degrees out squat slap this is side falling from a lying position this is the way you usually land when you're thrown that's from a squatting position that was the right side the other was the left left side now from a standing position left side right side forward tumbling with the right foot forward over the right elbow and vice versa when it's on the left there and that's another right one now from a standing left-sided coming up on the feet standing from right-sided Toshi, the body drop step back drive the opponent up on his right leg push with your right hand pull with your left drop real low crossing your right leg across his still pushing pulling then snap up with your leg to throw the opponent this is uchikomi in and out practice back down back down and throw and now in slow motion Hanai Goshi sweeping thigh throw step back pull the opponent you notice he's reaching under the armpit pulls by the high by the neck brings his hip in close and he starts to sweep his hip is in very tight his leg rotates while he's pulling spins the opponent through the air over his hip this is Uchikomi in and out Kazushi breaking the balance sweeping that's critical and one more time Osotogari 
the large outer reap throw. Step in, pull with your left foot. Your toes are driving you forward. Pull his elbow into your chest. Drive your own chest into his shoulder. Bring your leg through for sweeping. While you sweep, pull in on the elbow and push against his neck with your right hand. This is Uchikomi, in and out. It's important to pull on your standing foot. Now for the throw. Okuri Ashiharai, the follow foot sweep. As the opponent steps sideways, you follow him and sweep his retreating foot. He steps to his left, his left foot. As his right foot comes in, you sweep his right foot, lift him up with your hands, and then turn your hands like a wheel while you continue to sweep. Now we'll do Uchikomi, stepping in and out, and the sweep. Now for groundwork. This is Kesagatami, the cross chest hold. Controls the opponent's right arm high, press it against his chest. His right hand comes around and catches his own thigh. Puts his right thigh under the opponent's shoulder. There. Catches his thigh, squeezes in. Spreads the legs so as to form a triangle. Kami Shihogatami, the upper four corner hold. Here you approach the opponent from the rear, reach through, grab his belt, press your chest against his. This is done in slow motion. He reaches underneath, catches the belt on both sides, presses the slant of his chest against the opponent's, and presses against his face. Brings his knees in tight for balance, or he shoots them out as outriggers in case the opponent tries to escape. Guzade Yoko Shihogatami, the modified side four corner hold. This is different than the normal method. In this case, he grips the belt from the top and then holds the thigh with his right hand to keep the opponent from moving his legs. This has an advantage of being higher up on the opponent. His right hand catches inside the thigh. If the opponent tries to bridge, he just pushes down against the thigh and it is painful. His right leg is up against the opponent's side and his left leg shoots out straight. It's a very strong hold. This is another view of it, holding the belt from the top and the thigh. The right side you can't see is tucked into the side and the other leg is out straight. Tate Shihogatami, the vertical four corner hold. Here you straddle the opponent, reach over the top of his arm, Put your right arm under his right shoulder blade and your other arm comes underneath and you lock his shoulder to the mat. Your legs pinch in at the side to control the opponent's hips. Here's a good view. Catching the belt, pinning the shoulder and the legs into the side. Bring your head down to the mat. Adaka Jime, the barehanded choke. Here you strangle the opponent by grasping both of your own hands alongside of his neck. Pull back with your right elbow and squeeze in with the hands. At the same time, pressing your head against his. The edge of your hand does the choking. Now this is another version of Adaka Jime. Your hand is around the neck, but you catch your own sleeve and bring your left hand behind the opponent's head for pressure. 